I just, I, I love small movies. And I thought, oh, I'm just watching this small movie that not a lot of people will see. It's getting Oscar buzz. You're winning all kinds of awards. And uh, the performances are amazing. And I'm so excited that people are seeing this movie because I really thought it was just a small movie and it's getting a lot of exposure. So tell everybody what the movie is about. You want to no, you you take this? No, no, you, you take it. it. No, you do it. Uh, it's <laughs> Thesis and goes to stay with a family, a very well-educated, sort of like polyglot family, of which uh, Timothy plays Elio, their son. And over the course of this beautiful summer, you just get to watch two human beings fall in love with each other. And it's a... Uh, Who wouldn't fall in love with this guy right here, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, so the movie is about uh, the two of you having like this amazing chemistry mm. you had never met before. Mm -mm. And, uh, and so, and you had one rehearsal, mm -hmm. and the yeah. rehearsal was? Hilarious. <laughs> this is, uh, well, we, we hadn't had a really uh, proper rehearsal yet. Army tells, us that it, Army tells this story better than I do, so I'll let him cut me off at a certain point. But, you know, we were rehearsing the villa, we were, sh we were shot the film where the film takes place, and Luca, our director, one day says, okay, let's do a rehearsal, we're gonna go into the backyard, join us. And so Armin and I were very enthusiastic. We had our scripts, and we went in the back, uh, in the backyard. And, he, and, he, and we get out to this sort of like patch of grass, and he goes, OK, we'll rehearse right here. Let's, let's just pick a scene. Let's do uh, scene 71. And he just kind of arbitrarily throws out a number. So we go, OK, okay. great. <laughs> we go to our page, and our, we get to the page on the script. And then all it says is, Elio and Oliver roll around in the grass making out. <laughs> and we kind of look at each other, we're like, all right. All right, here we go. That's why we're here. Let's do this. So uh, we kind of get down on the ground and start making out. And he, and, and he goes, he goes, he goes, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? And we go, I don't know, we're trying to make out. He goes, I want you two to make out like you want to make out with each other, like passionately. And we were like, good, good direction. Yes, that's exactly what we should be doing. Let's do it. So then we start making out, and then we're making out, and then we're making out, and then we're making out, and, making and out. no one's saying stop. And all of a sudden, we both kind of stop, and we look, and Luca had just walked away. <laughs> and just left us, like there, rolling around in the grass. Yeah. And that hilarious. was our only rehearsal. That's hilarious. Yeah. It was a bit of an icebreaker. Yeah. Destroyed the ice. Yeah. Yeah. Destroyed I, the yeah. ice. Yeah. I heard that you had a little bit. Anybody sees this, you are so sexy in this movie. You <laughs> wow. really, you yeah. really. OK. You are. Right. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like, oh my God, it's going to be a lot harder to look you in the face now. No, I mean it. My feet like, the rest of the girls are going to go crazy, guys are going to go crazy. It, it really is. You're, uh, you're amazing. And you learned Italian for this. You yeah. learned piano. You learned guitar. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got all kinds of skills. You oh, don't yeah. even know about. No, I mean, well, you, what you, the hell does that mean? Yeah. 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 We know that you get along and have a lot of chemistry, but is there something that you find annoying from each other? <laughs> No, I'm the I'm the look. I'm the younger counterpart in the relationship. I'm the one that's annoying him. No, uh, you know. How? Um, how do I know my army? I don't know. Showing up at his house in L.A. unannounced. <laughs> uh, showing up to his kid's birthday party four hours after it starts. <laughs> uh, you know, things like that. That was just when the actual party was kicking off, though. It's so true. Yeah, that's yeah, true. you're good. You're and good. I and I came in at a good time too because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Talking about some potential sequels, um, have you considered? What fruit are you going to do in the next one? <laughs> I, I asked Luca and he told me. What are you going to take away from the memories of shooting this one beyond what occurred on set? Was it sort of just an idyllic kind of. Man, an awesome friendship with, with Army. How did you, did you two have time to kind of like meet before you got on set and kind of figure this relationship out? Yeah, that was one, that was one of the great gifts that came from this movie. I mean, I, I feel like there were so many great gifts in the process of making this movie, but one of them was the fact that we did get time together. I showed up in Crema and Timmy had already been there for a month. Uh, learning how to play the guitar and working on the piano and working on his Italian and all that stuff. So I show up to this little tiny town where nobody else speaks English and it's Timmy and we're there and we're supposed to make this movie together which is already like a great bond between two people and then we just got to spend so much time together. We would we would work together all day and then at night we'd probably I mean friendly Italian hours you know. Yeah yeah so you're, you're done pretty early which is nice. great they want to work about eight nine hours a day which is <laughs> <Perfection>. fantastic. <laughs> Uh, and then you go to dinner, and then we'd go back to his place, and we'd go back to my place, and we'd rehearse and talk about the next day, what we were going to do, what our plans were, and then maybe watch TV, listen to some music, do whatever, go ride our bikes around the town square. It, 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 we got so much time together, and it built such a, a feeling of safety and trust that regardless of whatever we had to do and whatever ways we were challenged or pushed in the process of filming, we it felt like we were going through it together, which was really nice. It's awesome. I, I, <laughs> I just could have really just been... I think my, my first impression of Timmy is still my, like one of my favorite things about him is the sort of like 
unguarded openness and like the rich internal life that he wears like right on the surface and lets everybody into and that's what makes him such a phenomenal actor that's what makes his performance so incredible because you can really identify and feel everything that Elio's doing just because Timmy's the same way I mean the first time I met him I met him and it was like this initial thing and then I could like see something go across his face where I was like what's that and he's like hey man I'm so sorry, but I'm like right in the middle of a piano lesson, and I could tell that he got nervous about like, am I being rude to the piano? Like, you could just see everything that's going on inside of his brain, which is amazing. Um, I want to mix. How did you create that chemistry? <laughs> well, I mean, they say experience is the greatest teacher, and it was just about spending as much time with each other as possible. In such a way, if we had four days with each other before we started filming, I know sometimes my instinct with other actors and these intimate scenarios and stories is to try to get as much information as possible about them in a kind of artificial way. But when you have that gift of three, four weeks like we did, it's not even about that. It was, just, I mean, I, we just spent a lot of time with one another. And then there's also, and I'm sure Army would have a lot to say about this as well, but I just feel like it's like the random luck of the universe that we hit it off as human beings and that you can't really, it's not about that first impression or uh, uh, randomness, but rather we, we we just hit it off. We had some sort we of genuinely conversation. liked each other too. You know, we we our relationship really kind of grew really analogously to how the film worked. I showed up and he had been in the in the small town of Crema where we shot it for weeks at that point, familiarizing himself with the place. You know, so I showed up and we got on bicycles and we rode around. And he said, you know, that's a great place to get coffee. That's where you want to go get gelato. That's where the great they have great pizza there. And we just spent a lot of time together and and the, the kind of living the performances and the roles yeah we definitely were i mean we were we were sort of like sequestered I mean, you go well you no, go, a couple I of talk. exceptions though a couple of you know, like living the roles no not not everything not everything it took a couple seconds there to make sense but that's all right no you, you do this you, you describe it better you must have like had like quite an incredible bond with timothy on set yeah. what do you think you admire the most about each other Okay, well, three things. A, is acting. He's an incredible actor, and I've already learned so much from him just in the process of shooting with him, but, you know, watching his other films since as well. Uh, and then also the, but the, the, the man and the husband he is is really incredible, and the roadmap for young male actors isn't that strong in show business, you know? There's a lot of sad stories, and I got an awesome role model in Army. The thing I admire most about Timmy is how emotionally raw and accessible he is. I mean, you can watch him process every... So you give him a piece of information and you watch it go... And then he goes, oh yeah, and it's amazing. Action. Dean, you're your first billing, brother. I am? Okay. <laughs> Hi, my name's Army Hammer. Hey, my name's Timothy Chalamet. So, you and Army Hammer yeah. have a very intense chemistry. Mm -hmm. How was that? Like, did you meet him before? No, did it was. You, is it just on set, or how did you map that out? And even the sex scene, how did you map all that out? Well, it was like the random luck of the universe where we had a uh, just a genuine bond and we never read together beforehand. Oh. Luca didn't read him either. Luca oh. says, if I. If I desire my actors and I love my actors, they'll, they'll love each other too. So, wow. uh, it's deep. so it's deep, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, half the things that guy says, I'm like, well, I don't have no idea what I am not smart enough to yeah. know what you're saying. Um, and then once we got out there, ah, it's so, it's, it's been so strange to have talked about this like for a year and a half and, and to say like, this is how we did it. And because mm. there was no game plan, there was no awareness what mm. we were doing was any good. Mm. Mm. And it was just about spending time with one another. And, Weirdly, the relationship in the pre-production process kind of took on the form of the movie, save for all the crazy stuff. But, you know, we were riding around bikes in the small town in Italy, and I'd been there a little bit in advance, so I got to show them, you know, where I was having, having espressos every morning. And, and, and also, we weren't in L.A. We weren't, like, he wasn't going home to his family every day. We just hung out with each other a lot mm -hmm. and all the time. And I pray you get a working experience with Army mm -hmm. because this is, I've been so lucky in, even right now, getting to talk to you, I feel like I got lucky doing this right oh, now with you because, you, God forbid, man, it was like so, some really scary, uh, <laughs> you know, intense, older. Let me, uh, let me ask, one of the scenes that really got me was the conversation with your father. Yeah, that, man. And then that speech that he gave. And um, so what was that like, filming it? And I think that's one of the most refreshing themes in this film is yeah. the parents' attitudes yeah. towards uh, man. the relationship. So it's like, um, what, what, what? 
how did that f feel to you and, and, and everyone on working? Well, Michael him? Stuhlbarg, he plays Mr. Perlman, the father. Bro. He's so incredible. It's, he's, you know, he takes notes with a ruler in his script, which I think is like yeah. a nice indicator of how yeah. he's just, he knows, he knows, he knows exactly what's going down. And, uh, and when it came time to shoot that scene, like I said, I went to a bunch of theater stuff growing up in New York. I, I really consider myself a theater kid. And he was in Martin McDonough's Pillow Man. I must have been 11 or 12. So this is someone I really looked up to. And when it came time to do that scene, that's very much his scene. You know, I have to be present and listening and there for him. But I, you know, it was just like stay a fly on the wall, Timmy, and just let, let the master go to work. And then there was the experience of really hearing it, too, in that mm -hmm. monologue and getting to hear, you know, don't push away pain in your life and embrace it and, and, and live and let live and to feel crummy doesn't mean that you should not just feel crummy and sit in that state. It was such a special and unique experience because we shot it in a little tiny town in Italy called Crema and Timothy and I were basically the only Americans there. Nobody else spoke English, so if we wanted to do anything on the weekends, we were doing it with each other. We were going to restaurants, we were spending a lot of time together, we were discussing scenes, we were rehearsing a lot. It was really kind of like an immersion. We just spent all day filming and then all night together and then we would be together on the weekends and it just it developed into like a a genuine friendship that we still have to this day you know i mean it's it, it was it was a really special experience to get to do it especially with someone as talented and special as timmy special i like that a lot of specials in there <laughs>